Welcome, in front of me is an Infinix Hot 50 Pro and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So, when you boot it up for the very first time, the device, you should be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end, where you get to select your desired language. Now for me it already chosen English, which is the language that I wanted to use, but you can see we have a vast list of languages, so just click on the language that you wanted to use, and then click on Next. This will then allow you to choose your region, country, and uh, this one doesn't really have much of a impact, so I'm just gonna select the first one. Then we have insert a SIM card. This step is completely optional. It's here as inserting a SIM card is one of the ways you can connect to your mobile network uh, or just network in general. The second one would be through Wi-Fi. I'm gonna be skipping this. Here's the Wi-Fi as well. Now, if I skip both of those, uh, I won't have the Google login page show out throughout the setup process. Date and time might not be set correctly. And additionally, I won't be able to restore apps and the data from a cloud backup. Now, this can all be changed later on after the setup has been completed by just connecting to any kind of network or inserting your SIM card uh, and going through the settings and changing whatever you want to change. Now, in here we have things like user agreement and services. So we have uh, terms of use and privacy policy, uh, join user experience. Nope, no, we're gonna deselect that one. We don't need to agree to anything that we are not forced to, which I don't recommend agreeing. If it's not required, then deselect it. Uh, unknown number identification, though this one might be fairly interesting. It might uh, block spam calling. Uh, so if you have some kind of, you know, uh, let's just say, uh, Siri, you have a virus on your PC. Uh, we will need your or, and that's more like German, uh, but now uh, you get the point. Uh, basically, the virus crap and stuff like that. This will be filtered by the uh, unknown numbers and stuff. So I highly recommend keeping that one at least enabled. Uh, now, uh, scrolling down, we actually have quite a lot of more here. So we have a number of personalized uh, uh, recommendation services. Now, this is a fancy word of saying, uh, let us spy on you. So no thanks. Uh, you're not going to be personalizing the ads uh, and stuff like that, services as you call it, uh, based on what I am interested in and what I search for. Then we have auto-update uh, service. It's, uh, again, kind of fancy way, but uh, this option just automatically updates your device if there's a new update. Uh, that's completely up to you if you want this or not. I'm going to keep it as it is. And for some reason, I cannot go further. So what am I need needing to select? Okay, so it looks like I just need to uh, select this one, which uh, I have read and agreed to the above terms, uh, which uh, is kind of scammy, uh, considering by selecting this, you're kind of agreeing to this, even though it's deselected, or this. So, whatever. Next, we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, here you can deselect all of those, but it's from Google, so let's be honest, it's not like this will have much of an impact. Google will most likely gather their data one way or another. Uh, next, we have unlocking method, and we have three different options. We have fingerprint, face recognition, and password. Now, password includes pin pattern or password. Now, the first two options, fingerprint or face recognition, are biometric uh, ways of unlocking the device. And therefore, because it's a biometric, it is prone to inaccuracy and failure, uh, failure in terms of just recognizing the biometrics correctly. Uh, so it won't be 100% reliable. So for the times where it's not reliable, you will need to set out, select a pin pattern or password. So when biometrics aren't allowing you to unlock the device for some reason, you can always use something like, for instance, a pattern. And you know what, I'm gonna select a pattern, just a pattern, nothing else. So I'll just repeat it twice, confirm, and I'm good to go. Next, we have a mobile cloner. This just allows you to move over a data from your old device to this one using a mobile cloner application. Uh, it's a very simple way to just transfer over everything that you have on your device, old one meaning, uh, things like call logs, messages, and so on. Uh, so I recommend if you want to basically get the data back on here. If you don't, you can just select skip. This then allows you to change your navigation style. We have buttons and gestures. Choose whichever one you prefer. I do like gestures myself, so that's what I'm gonna click on. There we go. And we can select next. And this, by the looks of it, finishes up the setup. And there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, 
and thanks for watching.